How has Juwan adapted, and how has he adapted compared to how you thought he would adapt? Well, I, I thought that he would adapt, uh, and he's done a great job. He really has. Uh, he's uh, gone out there. And, of course, when you're the quarterback, you know you're supposed to know what the receivers are doing, but yet you don't know their, all their techniques and things like that. So, um, you know, he's learning. Coach uh, Zach Azani's done an outstanding job of bringing him along. So, and he's excited. He's really excited to be out there playing. So, what do you, what do you see as kind of the biggest areas of concern in terms of positions? I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you back there. Uh, what do you think are kind of the biggest areas of concern in terms of positions? Him? No. What are the big, I'm sorry. Um, Areas of concern in terms of positions. You know, what, what, what do you look at and say, man, we got to get this figured out before? Uh, well, I don't know that yet because it's so early in training camp. You know, this is practice number three, and uh, you know, we're we're not even in full gear yet. You know, so we're putting a lot of offense at him right now, and uh, so that's you know, we're putting a lot of plays at him, a lot of different formations, things like that. So we're we're keeping them busy right now. Where, where was the retention level? You said you're putting a lot at them. Where's the retention level been this week? It's been great. Um, you know, number one, because of the terminology is all the same, but we've got guys that have played, and that's the biggest thing. So that they're able to retain it a lot better than, you know, say young guys that haven't been around it. So it's the retention's been great. Coach, just three days in, talk about how much you've relied on pushing tempo instead of insulation here early. Well, we've been pushing both. Uh, you know, our style of play is, you know, us. And uh, so we've really been pushing that. Uh, you know, I thought the first day we were not as fast as we needed to be. I thought yesterday we pushed it a lot faster. I thought today in first down drill, we pushed the tempo fast. And then we got we came inside uh, due to the rain and the tempo wasn't there. So, you know, we've got to be able to sustain that. Mike, there are a lot of teams in, in the SEC that are looking for quarterbacks and at this point in the season going through quarterback competition. Is there or how comfortable are you knowing that you have a guy that's played a little bit and had some success for going into this season? Well, Josh, you know, knows the offense. Uh, he's, you know, he's played in this conference. He's had success in this conference. So, uh, you know, it's that's a great feeling. Um, also, Quentin Dormady uh, has done an outstanding job of coming in here, uh, just having the spring only, and really performing at a high level. So, uh, and then we got Sharon Jones, who uh, also is a, a true freshman. And he's doing a good job of coming in to learn things. So uh, I like where we are. We just we've got to continue to get better at that position. We talk about being one percent better every day, and that's really what we're asking of the quarterbacks: is for them to continue to get better every day by one percent in everything, their drops, uh, their progressions, all that. What do you think about Juwan Jennings as a receiver so far, and how important is he with some of the guys you're missing at that spot? Well, he uh, he's very athletic. You know, he's big, tall. I mean, he's kind of like what we have there. And uh, he's got great speed. He's tough. I mean, everybody saw him in a spring football game, how tough he was when he ran the ball and things like that. So he's been a, good, a very good addition. Does he look natural there at all? Or Yeah, he's an athlete. I mean, uh, you know, he was a great high school basketball player. And, and uh, he was athletic at quarterback. And so, yes. And I know what you're talking about. Receivers sometimes have to do things a little bit different uh, with athleticism. But he's displayed that. What have you seen out of the three new running backs that you guys have been able to have? And just how much has that helped you guys practice, really, not just having two guys? Well, I'm sure, uh, you know, Hurd and uh, Alvin really, uh, you know, appreciate having those two or those three guys there. But they're really doing a really good job. You know, they're like all freshmen. I mean, just think of this, you know, you're going into a new class and it's all new language. You know, it's a different type of language. And that's what these kids are going through as freshmen. So they're doing a really good job. Uh, you know, they're focused. They're really working hard. And I, I tell you what, uh, I think we've got really good leadership at that position with those two older guys. And uh, they're doing a great job of leading the young guys. Mike, Coach talked earlier this week about it being the first time since he's been here that there's been a two deep of scholarship players along the offensive front. How, how, what have you seen out of that group this week? How does that change the way you approach practice or what you can do in practice? Well, number one, I don't think there's any doubt that competition always makes, you know, an individual better and a unit better. So we've got great competition there right now. And uh, I think the biggest thing is, is that, uh, you know, we're, we're just going to have to find out who the five best guys are uh, as we go through this training camp. And we're going to have to find them, you know, fairly fast. But once we get into pads, that'll really start to show. And, uh, you know, we're in shoulder pads today. And. We'll, you know, we'll look at the tape here and start the evaluation that way. But, uh, but I like the competition. I like our guys, and we're just going to have to find who the five best are. If Juwan continue to progress well at wide receiver, um, 
that you had some injuries at quarterback. Would you look back and put them back there? Would is the move pretty simple at that point? Well, we're just taking it one day at a time right now, and uh, you know we've got to teach him the receiver position, and you know there's a lot there. I mean, a lot. And uh, again, Coach Azani's done a great job of bringing him along so far, and uh, you know he's excited about it. But you know, I will when we get down the road here, we'll you know we'll consider all options. Just three days in, but what have you seen out of Drew? Drew Richmond. Yeah. Um, you know, very athletic and, uh, you know, a guy that really wants to learn. And, and uh, you know, there's, again, it's this fast pace, this fast tempo. They're having to make quick decisions on the run. And, you know, I don't think there's probably any tougher position than the offensive line to play because everything happens right in front of you. And uh, things are quick. And so, uh, you know, it's just going to be a learning process for him. But he's uh, right now he's got great patience and he's learning it and he's uh, giving great effort. Mike, what you said a few times this offseason that he's seen. Uh, maybe a different level of determination out of Jalen. Is that something that you've noticed too, going back to the spring and, and starting this, this camp? Yeah, I uh, I noticed it in the spring, but he's been outstanding uh, in training camp. I mean, his leadership. And the other day we had a play in uh, it was on uh, pass skeletal, and he was just blocking. He just went up the block, and his guy didn't come. And most guys will take off in a jog, whatever. He took off in a dead sprint to get down the field to, again, what we call body on a body, getting a block. And, uh, you know, that's what it, he, he's been, again, his effort's been outstanding and his leadership has been great. What is the extra weight done for him? He looks huge right now. Yeah. What is the extra weight? What has it done for him? How oh, what's it done for him? I don't, uh, you know, you'd probably have to ask him. I mean, um, but. The biggest thing when we talk about guys gaining weight and things like that is how they handle their body, you know, and just so they can handle their body and keep their speed and all that. And so he's been able to do that. How much of the offensive line are motivated by the, the criticism they took last year, you think? I don't know. Uh, you know, last year's last year, and, uh, you know, I don't know what their thoughts are. We haven't really talked about that at all. That's behind us. and. Uh, what we're doing right now is really just trying to get better every day, you know, 1% better every day and, and make those guys better. So uh, I think they'll, you know, they're going to be doing that because of their mindset right now. And uh, so I, I feel good about them. Talk about, talk about the tight end position and what you've seen in the development of Ethan Wolf. Well, uh, you know, in spring, uh, I thought he did a good job of uh, blocking and, and running routes. I think that, you know, Ethan would tell you he's, his biggest thing is he's got to continue to work on his consistency at all things. And so he's a young player, he's developing, but he's got to develop daily, you know? And so, um, you know, that's something that he's continuing to work with. I don't know if you're gonna answer this or not, but Jay Sean wasn't uh, working at Cats today. What's his story was? Uh, like you said, uh, Coach Jones will take care of all injuries and things like that, or illnesses, things like that. So he takes care of all that. Thank you. Yep. Yep.